your head right now? This news that Judith and Natalie have been released from the hands of Gaza Hamas terrorists is overwhelming. And really, we have this tremendous gratitude to God for his kindness and allowing them to go out. At the same time, we are deeply and painfully concerned for the 200 plus hostages that are still there in Gaza in the hands of vile, evil terrorists. And we continue to ask everyone to pray and beseech God to do an act of goodness and kindness that will make a difference in this world because we, we can make a difference. Our prayers have been heard for Judith and Adelie and we are so overjoyed for that. At the same time, please continue praying and please realize that we are facing the same evil that came into Israel about two weeks ago and murdered 1,400 plus men, women, and children. It is time for people of all walks of life to stand up and stand proud for morality, for goodness, for civilization, for everything that America and the civilized world stands for, and to tell the, all those people that are supporting terrorism that they are standing up against civilization. So while we continue to be so happy and thankful for Natalie and Judith coming out of the hands of murderers, we also want everyone to continue to pray for the rest of the hostages, 200, over 200 of them, and to continue to do acts of goodness and kindness for our brothers and sisters in Israel and for all the people of the civilized world who are under attack during this time. I have not spoken to Natalie or Judith since before the holiday when they were taken. Any word on Natalie and Judith's condition? I know especially you were concerned about some health issues for Judith. The reports that have been given is that they were being released on humanitarian uh, reasons, so that doesn't sound like they're in great condition. We are certain, though, that they will be treated for in our country, and we hope and pray they'll be brought to full health and in best condition as soon as possible. And I look forward to welcoming you all to a huge celebration when they're back home, because I'm sure you'll all want to be there for that occasion. Judith is a part of our family, coming to our congregation every single Shabbat, every Sabbath, and every holiday, a part of our community, like literally someone who would come every week and grab my baby and parade around, a little like family. So we were deeply pained, and the family is beyond pain. That no one can imagine what the family is going through. Uh, the attack by Hamas terrorists is outrageous. And something that the whole world has to recognize is outrageous. We are, have been deeply concerned and deeply pained. And the family's waiting period is unimaginable pain. So yes, this is certainly very comforting on one level. At the same time, we want everyone to remember that there are still more than 200 hostages in the hands of Hamas terrorists. All I could say is keep praying, keep doing, keep reaching out. Goodness will prevail. Don't give up. And hold your hopes strong because terror wants us to forget our hopeless, our hope, our hopes. The terrorists want to make us hopeless. And we have to tell them that we stand proud, we stand strong, our hopes are strong, and our prayers do get answered. Bye-bye.